All right, and hey there, Proxies, and this is Proxlock here. And guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon uh, Heart Gold Proxlock. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, we are now finally here at Fuchsia City. But also, too, during our last episode, I did let you guys know on the Twitter uh, is that which type of gym do you guys want me to see go at Tackle out next? And you guys uh, went at uh, Full Force, uh, went for Saffron City Gym. So we are going to be going and heading on over there to go and take basically uh, take care of Sabrina so that we can get ourselves the Marsh Badge, right? I believe I think that's what it's known as and then uh, we can actually just go and uh, hopefully see what our next stimulation is going to be for our next gym uh, Hopefully it could be another uh, kind of like outside uh, out, out of the gym type of stuff or maybe it could be an inside uh, Gym battle stimulation, but we'll just have to find out and see where right down after once we go and take care of Sabrina in this episode for today But for right now, I did actually do a little bit of some grinding uh, Which I did go and take care of kilowatt and also with Morrison as well I believe uh, Morrison was originally at level 43 did bring him up to level 4 44. I also did bring up kilowatt from level 41 to level 42 uh, Just so that uh, I could just kind of kind of boost them up a little bit more I don't actually have the exp share on on tunic anymore uh, Just so that I can try and, basically I can just hopefully try and get at least hopefully some of my pokemon up to like around level 50 or so uh, By like halfway like throughout uh, our time throughout in Kanto So at, at least so we could be somewhat around the levels where the other gym leaders are going to be at But let's go ahead and check it out here So we got ourselves kilowatt at level 43 oh, or sorry level 43 42 uh, with the life form does actually have headbutt strike discharge and also low kick we also do have red field level 45 with metal claw fly surf and also sword stance we also do have ssb at level 47 with sword stance strike and post close combat and also aura sphere uh, we also do have morrison at level 44 with bokeh fly blaze kick and also double kick we also do have tunic at level 26 with poison stake major magical leaf and also sweet set we also do have devon at level 48 with main and rise recover psychic and also nasty plot and that is basically everybody on the team so, uh, let's actually just go and fly on back over to where Saffron City is going to be, and let's go and tackle out uh, Sabrina's gym, which hopefully her gym, is, 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 well, hopefully her Pokemon is going to be uh, somewhat okay out here uh, for this time, because I am a, a little bit scared to see what type of Pokemon that she does have in store on her team, though, uh, but we'll just have to find out here in this episode. Um, I believe her Pokemon should be around, I think, around like level 50s at least, I think, if I'm not mistaken, so we should be fine for that. Uh, but let's also go check out the dojo because if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty certain I don't think there's any type of karate guys that are in here unfortunately not like the original game, but uh, Yeah, so unfortunately we have to go and talk to the the guy that's over at uh, Mount Mortar to get ourselves the Tie Rogue if we want to. But unfortunately, Professor Oak, uh, we cannot go and talk to him yet because again, Cerulean is our next and final type of gym city uh, here for the, for the time being until we actually go to the power plant and then we can be able to actually go and head on over to the rest of the other uh, gym cities here and cancel for that. But we do got ourselves a battle, so let's go and do it here. So the power of all those that you defeat comes to me. All right, so let's see what you got in store and let's go and tackle you. Let's see what you got. So you got yourself a snow run. That shouldn't really be too much of a problem. We'll just go for a low kick here. Nice. Go for an ice pig. Watch out for that. And one more low kick should actually go and knock out the snow run here. And hope we can try and boost him up just a little bit uh, with kilowatt. And hopefully we can get him up to level 43. Now I think kilowatt should be learning a brand new move at level 43 anyways. So we should be alright for that. Uh, we do actually have some viper coming out. So we'll bring out Devin out here for the job. So viper should be somewhat alright here. Nice. One good psychic to the face and already went and taken care of that without any problems at all. So we are good for that. So very nice. Okay, so let us go and head into our next thing, uh, which I don't really know. Because again, uh, I wish I would be able to know exactly how I would do this puzzle, but I'm just going to kind of go and just kind of guess exactly where it is. Because originally, if you guys have checked out my Pokemon Crystal Randomizer, I actually know where to go off by heart. But unfortunately, since it's been quite a while since I've done uh, Pokemon Crystal, uh, and, and since I haven't really done that series for quite a while... Um, just kind of bear with me on that but i think we should be okay so i think this should actually be the, the right way anyway so let's just keep on continuing down from here so let's see what else we got we got ourselves a dust blobs okay so unfortunately this is not going to be the right way i don't think so but this is a whole other different uh gym we or, or sorry a different gym trainer that we could actually go and fight with but i'm going to go and switch around bring out uh redfield out here instead which we should be all right okay gonna just mean look us that's all right here go out for a few surfs Ooh. okay got ourselves a uh a little bit of some burn damage there, but I think we should be fine. That wouldn't really hurt us all that too much. Got ourselves a Trico as well, too. We'll just stay on in. So let's go and fly up in the air. Let's keep on moving. All right. Watch out for that agility. And watch out for the Giga Drain as well, too. But hey. Uh, I guess we could just go and stop for a Surf here. Oh, come on. Really? A Detect? Get out of here, man. 
You don't have to be that annoying. All right, let's go switch out to Morrison out here then. All right, there we go. And then let's set up for a Blaze Kick, and I think we should be all right. Yep. And Trico is already down and out. Mm -mm. I have a little bit of a frog in my throat for today. Eh. But uh, anyways, uh, basically right on after this video, you guys should be able to see uh, a new Super Mario Bros. Wii co-op. So hope you guys go and check out with that. Um, we are going to be heading, or we'll basically finishing off World 3, unfortunately, which is one of our favorite areas uh, so far. But I know that we got ourselves World 4, which is uh, one of my er uh, favorite areas as well, because I do like the water levels in any type of Mario game. So that would be pretty fun. Uh, so let's see. So this should be somewhat kind of the right way, I think. But I'm just going to kind of go and head down from here and see if this is going to be the correct path. Okay, now this does feel a little bit familiar. So I think I'm just going to go ahead from this side here. See if this is the correct way. Nope. Okay, we already went and just already battled out with this that person already. So I think probably going down here should probably be it, right? No? Uh, well, maybe. Let's see. Maybe if I head up here, maybe this could probably be the right way. Yes, it is. Okay, so if we just go and tackle out this trainer here, we should be able to just go right across, and I think that's where it's actually going to be out for that Sabrina fight. Okay, we also do have a love disc. That should be fine. One good discharge should go and work out here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Very nice. All right, Luminion, not going to be a problem either. So let's just go and sell for a Hyper, and let's just get it out of here right away. Nice. All right, set it up for an Aqua Ring. Uh, let's go out for another discharge. Knock it out, and that is how we get it done. All right, sweet. Okay, so not too shabby at all, if I do have to say so. All right, okay, so that takes care of all the different trainers that are here, I think. And yep, and here we go. So now all that we have left is just literally Sabrina, and we should probably also make sure to get Redfield all uh, recharged back up because we want to make sure that Redfield is going to be all right because we don't know what type of Pokemon that Sabrina is going to be having, if it is going to have something that's going to be like a ground type or something. All right, so there we go. I think we should be okay. I'm going to go and switch around with Devin because I know that we haven't really used him in quite a while, but let's go and see if Devin can go and start knocking out some Pokemon that are going to be around here. So I knew that you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival, and you're after my badge. So don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a gym leader to confer the badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. So since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. All right, so here we go. Let's take care of Sabrina. And I do have to say, I really do like her design here uh, in the uh, in, in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver game. Alright, here we go. Let's see what she's got. An Avastow to start off with. Okay, now this could get a little bit hectic because this Avastow is at level 53, so it could actually have some pretty nasty moves on here, but we'll try it out. So let's go for a Psychic. So it doesn't do too much. Okay. Uh, hopefully that blue is not going to knock us out here, but that could get a little bit scary. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go and set for a few healing. Because I think also, too, this Apple Snow should probably also be having Wood Hammer as well, too. So I'm just going to kind of stall out on the blizzards here for a little bit. And uh, let's see. If, hopefully we do not get frozen, though. That would be very annoying if that does happen. But I'm just going to kind of set up for these hypers just for a little bit. See if uh, we can waste out on his blizzards here. Because that is going to become an issue if uh, we don't take care of those blizzards right away. Okay, so there we go. So that finishes off with that again. I think that he only has like I think like two more blizzards left. So I'm just gonna kind of just kind of fast forward this a little bit. Okay, do not freeze me, whatever you do, because that would just waste uh, a lot more time than what I have to do here for this. Okay, now that should be his final blizzard, I think. So, ooh, okay, that is a little bit scary. Now I think he should be setting up for wood hammers. I think by now. So let's just go and kind of play this a little bit carefully here. Now at least a good thing is is that wood hammer will actually um, like do recoil damage. So I could actually bite the bullet here, but I think I'm just gonna go and heal up once more. And I don't know if uh, if Sabrina already has a full restore. Uh, full uh, yeah, I think it's a full restore coming out out the way here. But I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just. I'm going to kind of risk it out here. Maybe I'll just suffer a nasty plot, and then I can probably just go and... Hmm. What is, should be the better idea? Because she's going to be healing up, right? So, I could go for a nasty plot. Or I can just go and suffer for a psychic. And just kind of do a little bit of some more damage. Uh... I think I'm going to probably suffer for a psychic. So, yeah. So, suffer for a full restore. 
I'm gonna hurt you a little bit like so. And then we'll just let the Atlas know kind of just do some damage on himself here. Because I don't know if, if that nasty plot would kind of help out with the situation, but eh. We'll just kind of just kind of stall this out here for a little bit. Ice Shard is trying to troll me right now. Really? Uh, well, if you're going to be going out for wood hammers, I think the better idea would, would not be Redfield or SSBL, I don't think. Because I don't even think wood hammer would do that much to us. Um, I guess I could try and just do a little bit of a quick heal just in case. I know that this is going to be a waste of a hyper potion, but I just want to be very careful because I don't know if this Atlas Snow is going to be set up for a wood hammer now. It does actually have ingrain. Okay, so it is trying to play around with me here. Okay, I'm going to go for a psychic out here. Oh, nice! There we go! That was a critical hit! Thank you! Oh. Okay, I was a little bit nervous about that because I had no idea that if that Atlas Snow was going to be set up for another wood hammer coming out our way. But there we go. That takes care of it. Hey, and also, too, we got ourselves a, uh, a snake as well, too. So let's go and uh, take care of him as well. Nice. All right, finished off with that, and we also got ourselves only one more battle out here. This is with the Dusk of so I think this is going to be very simple because uh, I think uh, you're also part poison as well, so this Dusk Dox should not become a problem. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, light screen. Okay, well, that doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just going to go and set up for one more Psychic, and that should basically do it right here. Yep, there we go. Already knocked out Dust Dox, and that is a win under our belt here, guys. Another badge here in the Kanto region, and we already succeeded it. Nice. So good job, Devin. And also, too, this is also just a freebie battle, uh, if you guys don't know, because we did get ourselves a return of Pokemon for the stimulation. So th this is just nothing uh, out of the ordinary here for Sabrina's gym, but the next one is going to be something that will be happening for the gym at some point. It's just that it's not going to happen now, but it will be happening at some point, because if we do land on, like, Miss Dex Pokemon or something, then that'll be another freebie battle to go through, but... We'll just have to wait and see. So what is this? Is this Zen Headbutt or what is this? No, Skill Swap. Okay. Well, hopefully there is a TF for Zen Headbutt somewhere if I can just find one. But I don't know if if, if that is even is a... Uh, well, I, I don't know. Is it a TM? I can't really remember. Uh, but anyways, uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. In the next one, guys, we're going to be moving on over to our next gym, which I am not going to actually do a Twitter poll for that. I think our next gym that we should actually be go and able to take care of is that since we only do have two other gyms in our vicinity, we do have Celadon City that's just right on next, uh, basically right on over to where we're going to be. So I think that's what I think what I'm going to be doing is making our way on over to where Celadon City is going to be located at, and we're going to go and battle out with Erica. So don't forget to leave a comment like, I'll subscribe. I'll see you guys then, and peace.